The Gatsby Show, which aired from 1984 to 1992, was a groundbreaking sitcom that redefined TV by portraying a positive, successful African-American family. The show's talented cast brings warmth, humor, and important life lessons to audiences, making it a cultural touchstone. As we look back on the show's enduring legacy, we remember the 19 actors who have passed away, celebrating their contribution to this iconic series. This video pays tribute to these actors, reinforcing the lasting impact they had on the show and the hearts of viewers around the world. Clarice Taylor in the sitcom she played Anna Huxtable. In 1985, when she was in the sitcom, she was 68, and sadly she passed away on May 30th, 2011 and 93. have Thanksgiving without real pumpkin pie? Heathcliff, you also forgot the nutmeg. You got nutmeg here. Earl Hyman in the sitcom he played Russell Huxtable. In 1984, when he was in the sitcom, he was 58 and sadly passed away on November 17, 2017 at 91. What's approved for tourists from Holland was in an off-limits area of Graceland. Now he took a picture of the pool house and in the shadows was a man who... Lena Horne in the sitcom she played Lena Horne. In 1985, when she was in the series, she was 68 and sadly she passed away on May 9, 2010 at 92. I don't let just anybody sit here. I let diplomats and potentates and birthday boys. Well, you don't look like no diplomat. And you ain't no potentate. Joe Williams in the sitcom he played Al Hanks. In 1985, when he was in the series, he was 67 and sadly passed away on March 29, 1999 at 80 years old. I graduated from nothing. Check. Lou Myers in the sitcom he played Mr. Davis. In 1987, when he was in the sitcom, he was 52. Sadly passed away on February 19, 2013 at 77. Well, no, I did Well, that's exactly what I want you to do for me. Well, Mr. Davis, see, I... I... Go down there and tell him about me. Now, the name is Warren L. Day. Al Freeman Jr. in the sitcom he played Coach Ernie Scott. In 1985, when he was in the series, he was 51 and sadly passed away on August 9, 2012, at 78. Old track coach, don't answer that. Okay, I'll go tell Daddy that you're here. Thank you. You know, Dad has this great picture of you yeah. when you're lifting him up in the air after you won this big race. <laughs> Ron Foster in the sitcom he played Herb Temple. In 1987, when he was in the series, he was 57 and sadly passed away on February 26, 2015, at 85. Well, we think $75,000 is more than fair. Well, $75,000 will hardly compensate for the loss of income due to your client's delay in shipping. I think we're being... Roscoe Lee Brown in the sitcom he played Dr. Barnabas Foster. In 1986, when he was in the series, he was 64 and sadly passed away on April 11, 2007 at 84. Heathcliff, if you can't remember something so elementary, and all my years of teaching at Hillman will have been wasted. Yes, yes. I, I know it. Sh Sheldon Leonard in the sitcom he played Dr. Wexler. In 1985, when he was in the series, he was 78 and sadly passed away on January 11, 1997 at 89. Denise? Yes? Hi. That's Rudy? Really? <laughs> That's Phil! Who are you, Murray? <laughs> Moses Gunn in the sitcom he played Dr. Lotus. In 1989, when he was in the series, he was 60 years old and sadly passed away on December 16, 1993 at 64. I saw the lightning flash. Right. Right. I heard the thunder roll. Right. I felt breakers crashing, yeah. swamping. Ethel Ayler in the sitcom she played Carrie Hanks. In 1984, when she was in the series, she was 54 and sadly she passed away on November 18, 2018 at 88. All came back. <laughs> okay, Mama, that's one I isolated incident. I went Maxine Davenport. Have a son, 45. His wife dies. This Dick Gillespie in the sitcom he played Mr. Hampton. In 1984, when he was in the series, he was 67 and sadly passed away on January 6, 1993 at 75. <laughs> Doris Pilak in the sitcom he plays Saleswoman. 
In 1984, when she was in the series, she was 58, and sadly she passed away on October 4, 2011, at 85. Sorry, tennis balls, honey. Schmidt Hours is more of a specialty store. We're looking for some gifts for my husband. Did you have something in mind, or would you like me to show? Elaine Stretch in the sitcom she played Mrs. McGee. In 1989, when she was in the series, she was 64, and sadly she passed away on July 17, 2014, at 89 learn how to get along with one another, to be congenial in different situations. Isn't that right? Right. I'll bet even 10,000 years ago, prehistoric... Merlin Santana in the sitcom he plays Stanley. In 1991, when he was in the series, he was 15 years old and sadly passed away on November 9, 2002 at 26. It's hard to make waves without water, but if you move your head from side to side, you get the feel of it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there. Jerome Dempsey in the sitcom he played Dave. In 1991, when he was in the series, he was 62, and sadly he passed away on August 27, 1998, at 69. <laughs> Excuse me. No, wait, where are you going? <laughs> I'm going to go get a wire nut. It's out on my truck. No, 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 no. You say that. Michelle Thomas in the sitcom she played Justin Phillips. In 1988, when she was in the series, she was 20 years old, and sadly she passed away on December 23rd, 1998 at 30 years old. Okay, Theo, here's another question for you. What was Prometheus's punishment for bringing fire to man? He was chained to a boulder. What else? A giant. Lynn Thickpen in the series she played Mrs. Hudson. In 1991, when she was in the series, she was 43, and sadly she passed away on March 12, 2003 at 54. Christoph St. John in the sitcom he played David James. In 1984, when he was in the series, he was 18 years old and sadly passed away on February 23rd, 2019 at 52. What do you think when 19 actors in the sitcom The Cosby Show sadly passed away? And who do you miss the most among them? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you.